Hi guys, it's Natalie and today I'm going to be doing my first Halloween tutorial of the year. And I decided to do something a little bit different this time. As you can tell, it is a butterfly themed makeup. I just thought this would be really great for people that wanted a really quick and easy um, makeup look that's inexpensive. You don't have to go buy crazy, you know, special effects makeup. Um, the wings are actually, I printed off my computer, they're just paper. They're printed on Xerox paper and I just glued them to my face, which I think, you know, it's easy, a last minute look. You can just throw on a cute black dress and go and I think it'd be really cute, but I kind of just played the makeup off. I don't know if you can see, I did orange with like a black crease and I just applied really long false lashes just to kind of create more drama and added the wings. So I kind of played off the wings as like, kind of like if they were a mask. So I thought this was really fun. So if you guys want to know how I completed this Halloween butterfly look, keep on watching. Okay, to get started, you're going to want to apply your foundation. Here I'm using Tarte's Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. And I'm applying that with my Beauty Blender just to get a nice, even base. Okay, for the eyes, you're going to want to apply a primer first just to make sure there's no creasing. And here I'm using Urban Decay's Primer Potion. To start off the orange look, you're going to want to create a base. Here I'm using NYX's Jumbo Pencil in orange and applying that all over my lid. I'm then going to take a shading brush. I'm using Sigma's E25 and I'm going to blend it out. shadows today I'm going to be using the Manly 120 palette which I got on eBay. I'll link to below where you can find it. I'm going to be using several shades of orange and yellow from this row of the palette. Now taking an E60 large shader brush from Sigma I'm going to apply a bright orange shadow all over my lid. a lighter orange color and the E25 blending brush, I'm going to apply that color to my lid all the way up to the brow bone. I'm also going to take that light medium orange color and apply it under my lash line as well. To create more definition, I'm going to apply a black shadow to my crease. Here I'm using Max Carbon and a pencil brush. This is a Sigma E30. Once I apply it into my crease, I'm going to take a blending brush and blend out the edges. same black eyeshadow and a short shader brush, this is a Sigma E20, I'm going to apply the black shadow along my lower lash line. I'm then going to continue on the line upward and diagonal towards my crease. Taking a little bit more black shadow, I'm going to use that same short shader brush and press it into the crease to create a more defined look. To 
add a little bit more brightness to the look, I'm going to take an orange pigment. Here I'm using Max Genuine Orange, and I'm going to apply that to my lid using a large shader brush. Now it's time to apply liner to your upper lash line. Here I'm using L'Oreal's Linear Intense Black Liner. a pop of color, I'm going to take a bright yellow shadow from my Manly palette and apply it to my inner tear duct area using a shading brush. Now taking a Sigma E50, which is a large fluffy brush, I'm going to blend out all the edges to make sure everything is nice and blended. Now here I'm taking Max Smolder Eye Pencil, which is a basic black eyeliner, and I'm going to be lining my waterline and my timeline. Now it's time to curl the lashes and apply some mascara. Here I'm using Makeup Forever's Smoky Lash on my upper and lower lashes. Now for concealer. Here I'm taking Sheer Covers Concealer Duo and concealing my under eye circles and any blemishes. To set my foundation and concealer, I'm using MAC Studio Fix Powder with the large powder brush. definition to the face, I'm going to be taking a bronzer. Here I'm using Benefits Hula and I'm going to take a small contour brush. This is a Sigma F05 and I'm going to contour my face. I'm using the Coastal Sense 10 color blush palette and I'm going to be mixing two different color, these two right here. And I'm going to be applying it to the apple of my cheeks using an F40 blush brush from Sigma. I kept it simple and picked a really bright orange lipstick. This is Vegas Volt by MAC. To add a little bit of shine, I just added a clear lip gloss on top. Now for the fake lashes. Here I'm taking these really fun costume lashes and applying them just to create a little bit more drama. to get started on the butterfly wings. As you can see here, I printed out a picture of a butterfly off my computer on regular copy paper. Now I'm going to take some scissors and cut out the wings. Once you cut out one half of the wings, as you can see here, place it up against your eye to make sure it's the right size. If you like the sizing, take the wings and cut it in half as I do here. To apply 
the wings, you're going to need clear eyelash glue. Take your two wings and put them against your eye to see exactly where you want to place them. Once you figure out the placement of the wing, taking your eyelash glue, apply a little bit just to the tip of the wing and allow to dry for a few seconds before placing. Follow the same step for the bottom wing, making sure to line it up with the top to create a butterfly shape. Repeat on the opposite eye to complete the look. And now your butterfly look is complete. Hey guys, so here is the final look. I just think this is a really fun idea, especially if you're short on time. You uh, you know you have a last minute costume party to go to and you really don't want to dress up but you want to be festive. You can just wear a really cute black cocktail dress and just throw on this makeup and you know if you have a printer and some Xerox paper that's really all you need. This is just regular copy paper like I said. So really simple to do and I just think it creates kind of like a really fun mask like effect. The paper does not weigh anything at all so it does not bother your eyes. I know some people have problems like wearing. Um, masks or stuff on their eyes a lot so it really doesn't really bother because it's right on the side but I can move my face, I can dance, I can drink and I just think it's a really fun idea. You can get creative and find fun pictures of different kinds of uh, butterflies or bumblebee wings or different types of wings and work with those colors. So if you find maybe like a moth that has brown tones or a butterfly that has purples and blues in it. I just chose you know the classic monarch butterfly but I just thought this was a really fun easy Halloween tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I want to know what you're going to be as for Halloween, so let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Happy Halloween! Bye!